So it's very important to understand the functions and features as well as the attributes of our energy storage systems. First and foremost, we are able to operate between minus 30 and plus 70 degrees. We are able to cycle up to 500,000 times at cell level and 50,000 times at modular level. We have a depth of discharge, that means we can completely discharge 100% in each cycle. We have the ability to go up to charge speeds of 150C at cell level. In our commercially deployed modules, we charge at 1C and discharge at 2C. And in bespoke applications, we do 20, 30 and 50C charge rates as well. We have a round trip efficiency of 99.1%. All of this equates to phenomenal capex and opex savings. And why? So essentially, when we deploy on sites, often you'll find that we don't need to oversize to accommodate for cooling. We have zero degradation over life, so we don't need to oversize for that degradation feature either. We also don't have to oversize to accommodate for cycling or depth of discharge or C rates. When you factor all of these together, the industry terms us as having the lowest levelized cost of energy to date. So now we understand the features and the functions of our modules, many people from the telecom industry then ask us what advantages we're able to give them. Well, straight off the bat, I can tell you that when we have off-grid sites using gensets, we're able to hybridize generators with a very simple function. So what happens, as you know and as you are aware, is that generators are oversized on application. So a generator will be oversized maybe 50 to 100% compared to the load size. We have a special power electronic control that communicates with the generator and tells it to go to its maximum efficiency point. So taking it to about 80%. So while it's supplying the load at the BTS tower, it will at the same time charge our modules. Now, recall, I told you that we have a very fast charge rate, so we can charge at 1C, and in certain applications, we can go even higher. So the generator is charging the modules while supplying the load. Now, at a very quick rate, our modules will become fully charged. We will then communicate via direct contact alarms and tell the generator to switch off. The generator is now turned off. And the modules will run the load for 5, 10, 15 or 20 hours, however long is required. As the module reduces its energy or capacity or goes down to a certain voltage, a communication system to dry contact will tell the generator to turn back on and charge the modules once more. And this cycle can be repeated up to four times a day. So we are the only energy storage system in the world that has the ability to cycle four times with 100% DOD at a C rate that is higher than any other module or any other energy storage system uh, in the market. So we've been deploying um, our modules on sites across the world in various BTS towers for the last eight years uh, in regions such as South Africa, the United States, the UAE, Afghanistan, and now we are starting to deploy in Europe as well from different climates to different environments. And we've seen one thing synonymous in all of these installations where we have off-grid sites coupled with generators. We've been able to, as of recently, uh, we've been told get up to 60 or 70 percent diesel savings consistently on sites that are cycling four times a day where we're reducing the amount of generator runtime. Similarly, we're also now being used in solar only sites where we give an extremely long autonomy. We have a low idle discharge rate of one to two percent per month. This means that when you require longer periods of autonomy, the modules will not discharge energy inherently and you can store energy for longer periods of time. This suits solar and wind sites where energy is generated and you may have the event or a weather event whereby wind or solar is not available for prolonged periods of time and the energy storage systems are required to be supplying energy consistently to the application. We've also started to deploy on backup sites now that are connected to the grid. Um, inherently, any chemical storage system will always have an idle discharge rate, so it will constantly require to be cycled. It will charge, and even whilst it's not being used, it will discharge or leak energy, similar to your mobile phone. You charge it, you don't use it. For a number of days, it will constantly discharge energy, and you will have to recharge it again. In backup sites, you have the same phenomenon. So with supercapacitor-based energy storage systems, our energy storage modules, you have an idle discharge rate of one to 2% a month. So a backup system could be deployed on a site 
fully charged, it will only leak 1 to 2% energy, discharge 1 to 2% energy per month, therefore it does not cycle out. And even if it did cycle out, you have up to 50,000 cycles available on the life of the module, 500,000 cycles available at cell level. Enercap is committed to constant development in products. In that development, we launched NCAP last year, the world's first digital cell, encapsulated cell with very high-end features. This year, we're launching a new product. It's called NCAP Micro. We understand that cell towers have various issues in terms of the availability of space, weight, racking systems, etc. So what we've done is that we've stripped off some of the touchscreen display, uh, we've stripped off some of the other uh, external features, whilst maintaining internally the same functionality in cells, the same conductivity of energy, and the same efficiency. So with NCAP Micro, we've managed to retain some of the communication features through connectivity of cables. So we have dry contact, CAN bus, RS-232, RS-485 as communication ports that can be utilized. So you can plug your system in and can communicate accordingly or communicate between modules in the same respect. So NCAP Micro comes with a width of 44 centimeters, a depth of 54 centimeters, and a height of 13.4 centimeters. A very compact design, ideal to fit into a 42U rack system. Now, this uh, particular module comes with handles that enable you to slide in and out seamlessly and a very compact design with a lightweight. NCAP Micro is a 7.1 kilowatt hour 48 volt module. This is the ideal size for telecom applications. It can be joined together in parallel and we have a um, module that is available also in series connection. Because of the huge savings that NCAP has been able to give to the telecoms industry, we foresee that this industry is a significant part of our growth plan. In citing this, we are constantly developing products that will enable the infrastructure to grow and optimize its power requirements accordingly. Enercap is investing consistently in R&D, especially in the telecom sector, by developing new systems, by developing software. In fact, we have our own firmware specifically designed for the telecom sector to assist in optimizing and increasing savings through energy efficiency. NACAP foresees the telecom industry as being very significant in its growth plans. We also have a range of accessories, including racks, um, charging and discharging systems, as well as other tools that we offer to our client base across the world. We are working consistently with EPCs, value-added resellers, and those involved and invested in the telecom industry to improve our products and to maintain a high standard and efficiency of product for the market. The telecom industry is very significant for Enercap. We are investing a lot of money in R&D, in developing new products, as well as accessories that can be used alongside our energy storage modules. These include racks that are specifically made and designed for our modules, um, chargers and discharges, balancing systems and other equipment. We foresee that the telecom industry is going to play a very strategic role in our growth plans. We are also invested in trying to assist in reducing carbon emissions across the board with telecom companies. We are currently working in multiple geographical territories as well as a range of different types of sites. We have noticed that the telecom industry has uptaken our technology very quickly and has foreseen uh, huge savings in terms of their uh, overheads and a reduction in cost in both fossil fuel um, costs as well as the application of capex or implication of capex on their sites.